Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. Now that I've had a little lunch, we're heading off to, uh... Well, actually, we're heading off to the job center to see if there's, uh, any side assassinations for me. Except I realize I'm going in the wrong direction. Here we are. Both of those streetlights need to die. Also, as well, turns out that one, that lamppost, not lamppost, that uh, hydrant wasn't connected. Uh, shout out to Clunk279, who says that Santa Destroy is a town in California. This surprised me, so I googled it. And, uh, you know, not to rain on a parade or anything, but, uh, yes, it's a town in California, but I can, uh, but according to the Google search that I did, it's still a fictional town in California. It only exists in No More Heroes. Oh, and apparently a throwaway reference in, uh, one of, uh, Suda's other games, uh, Diabolical Pitch. It was this really weird game, I think it was on the 360, where, uh, you fought bad guys using, uh, baseball pitches, which you actually, th like, threw using, uh, the, uh, the motion-detecting uh, Kinect stuff. He, you know, he seems to really like the, wa uh, the waggle stuff. Uh, also, a shout out to Dark Slayer 1994, who comments on the Shinobu fight. This boss gave me PTSD. I hope you didn't struggle as bad as me. You know, me too. You'll have to be the judge of that. And uh, oh yes. Hello, Travis. Boy, that was enthusiastic, Travis. Welcome. Here is a list of jobs you can do in your next rank. And, uh, shout out to Yornick, who says, But of course the gal at K Entertainment can't blink. She's not that advanced of a robot, after all. Oh, and LB stands for Large Brown Dollars. The economy of Santa Destroy is, in fact, built on them coconuts. <laughs> uh, wrestling moves only. I don't know what that means! Going to batting, killing spree, chain restaurant, pizza, but it's the same one, but for twenty thousand more dollar dues. Even says pizza butt returns. Now that I look up there, so did their CEO come back from the dead? Did they simply replace him, or was that a decoy? <laughs> I was suddenly reminded of, uh, I've not played them myself, but the, uh, the, the Sniper Elite games, World War II stuff. Uh, I think all of them have a DLC where you assassinate Hitler, and the official story uh, is that whenever a new game comes out, they declare that, no, 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 that was actually one of Hitler's decoys. But not until the next game comes out. <laughs> Alright, I, I have to know. This might be a train wreck, but I have to know. May you find your true path. May you find your true path? The end of the question mark, though. Let me guess. Oh, wow! No one could have seen that coming. My lozenge wrapper says, keep your chin up. Yeah, good advice. You know, uh, until this moment, I wasn't actually sure if the tires on the other cars were turning. Oh, no, I guess, yeah, okay, fine. What? That was weird, it stopped me dead in my tracks. Uh, the model bumping into me, you see. God damn it. You know what? There! Oh, yes, we have seen that story. Uh, this is going to be one of those songs that pops into my head randomly like, for the rest of my life. Uh, wait. Wait. I'm bracing myself. 
Oh, good. I... I didn't imagine it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, good. And there's treasure next to this one. That's strange. Why would that be the case? Sort of? Huh. Ah, oh, must be by the chin. Given that there's, you know, no visual indicator at all, it is uh, a bit finicky about how precise it needs you to be. Hey. Not a wrestling move, is it, Travis? Yeah, I can't swing the sword at all. Oh, I see. It just won't let me move, use the moves that involve the sword. So, again, why? Fucking! I guess you can't charge that one. Down you go. Ow. So there be the charge move over and over again. Ow. Don't remind me, I just need to murder your friend. Now I'll be right with you. Right in the brain! We've arrived just in time. Oh, shit. Fucking... Oh. Oh, no! I don't think that'll be a gold, but... Hey! I like that. I remember hearing about a video game store that did a fighting game tournament of some kind. Should have been about 10 years ago. And, uh, if I remember correctly, the winner of the game got, uh, the, the, the winner of the tournament, number one, got a, uh, copy of the game, like, you know, the co a copy of the special edition of the game, and a PS3, you know, to play it on. 
And uh, the reason I bring this up is because the third place prize was just a copy of the game, like the regular copy of the game. And the second place prize was a signed picture of the manager of the store. And when the dude was asked about this, he said that it was his way of uh, <laughs> teaching pe other people his uh, sort of philosophy on competitiveness. Which is to say that uh, <laughs> second place is only the first loser. Jeez, that doesn't sound healthy. Why you come here, Found Waco man? But you won me for a a mistranslation of some kind, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. Just wanted to look a thing up. Shout out to Derek Floyd, who says that, uh, a Santa Destroy Acre looks more like a square meter than a proper acre. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, because, yeah, that really does seem like the mistranslation there. I've ever seen a white guy with cornrows in real life. Three, two, Press the LT button to swan around. I have no idea what's up with that. Nice and smooth. electric. Maybe that's why it's so quiet. And in my experience, most uh, lawnmowers are more, you know, deafening. Well, now even those are just loud as hell. Hmm. Well, maybe it's not powered at all. I mean, it's one of those old-timey ones where the, the forward motion rotates the thing. You know, the kind they would always draw in cartoons in the 90s, even though I've never actually seen that design in real life. Because they stopped using it. Well, it's not my best, but... Pretty sure it's, uh... Not bad. I do not know why they stop me, to be perfectly honest. What 
29,400 LB dollar dues. Can't look down any further than that. How the hell do I get in there? What's with the fucking diner doors? Like it's a restaurant. Whoa. Sweet. Hey, that's not bad at all. What does it say, though? Well, I certainly can't tell here. Does anyone else think Rolling Cradle is uh, a weird name to combine with the uh, the flames yes. design on the building? Sweet. Let's all keep doing a look around. It's like a dream. That's not what sidewalks are for. Oh shit! Oh right, 250 large. <laughs> I actually thought I had enough and didn't notice, which is weird because you know the other ones had this big pop up. G.G. Hayes. So, mm -hmm. That name is less outwardly funny than most of the ones we've found. This neighborhood is bleak. What they need is to do the Newfoundland thing and paint all their houses garish, vibrant colors. Uh -huh. I say garish in the, uh, the most positive way possible, for the record. You know, it's like when you look at something, uh, absurdist comedy, and you say it's the stupidest thing you've ever seen, and you mean that as a compliment. Hey, there's the pizza place. I wasn't sure. Just eat it, man. Oh, no, this one's just full of pizza. Fine, keep your secrets, send your pizza. Oh, hey, shit. Another one. Uh -huh. Unless Santa Destroy says that uh, people put money in, you know, garbage cans instead of... Uh, Oh, that's funny. Oh! It changed colors. It was purple on the inside. Now it's pink. Art Materials. Holy crap. That is the least creative name for a store ever. Got very much a no-name brand vibe from that. Which is both a term and an actual brand in Canada, for the record. No-name. All lowercase. 
I have been told by American friends that the uh, the packaging on that brand looks like something out of a dystopian movie. It's solid yellow with the uh, the descript you know with the, the name of whatever you're buying written on it in black letters. That's it. I think they even they didn't used to even have pictures, but I think they've started adding them recently. <gasps> Don't. You know what? I'm just gonna go back to the hotel and check. Ow. Ow. I didn't even see what that was. I glanced up at the flag and then felt that. You know, I did run around the place before, but I didn't know that the fucking garbage cans were collectibles at that time. So since I can sprint now, I'm just gonna go ahead and... I'm sorry, since I can dash now... Wait a minute. Wasn't there a billboard? No, it's there, that's right. Uh, no garbage cans, fine. They must have stumped it in the street. What does that say? Grasshopper. No me tukes, look cojones. Well, that's something about balls. That's what cojones means, right? Both balls, as in testicles, and balls, as in, uh... Oh, you know, the way it's, it's, it's otherwise used. You know, like, uh, guts. You know, you've got what it takes. You've got the cojones. There's the timer. appreciate that they actually do that animation. There's 69. The Great Mustache from the Bearded Sun series. Mustache version. Night Black. Don't touch my mustache. Present features one of the famous spots in Santa Destroy. Big Flag. Always on sale at tourist traps. My mother went to Santa Destroy and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Of course. Of course. Tank top black. A simple black tank top. A simple white tank top. They were blank! Ha ha! Right. Stinkin' Beer, a t-shirt for the Stinkin' Beer 67 Renewal Campaign. Well, that would explain what it was doing in the garbage. But I choose to believe that uh, he's being responsible and not just throwing food in whenever she's uh, begging for it, because of course cats will always do that. There, there. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play No More Heroes. When we assassinate the CEO of Pizza Butt all over again, knock on wood. See you then, Burning Dog fans. Later.